This movie tells a story about Connor, a man whose dull life is transformed into a thrilling fantasy world thanks to the seductive Marilyn. First of all, this movie is bad. As part erotic drama and part crime thriller, it really lacks any sense of surprise or temptation. It's a flaccid and predictable affair that telegraphs every punch and doesn't engross us in the character's plight. There's not much to the central affair beyond sex in unique places, meandering connections, and eventually misdirection. This story is basically an ex-con lured by a sexy older woman into a situation that we can see coming a mile off. The movie doesn't even try to make it realistic as it's also trying too hard to creep from classics and better movies from the past. The final result is a movie that feels stuck out of time, with the look and sensibilities of a modern film, but themes recycled from decades ago. It even uses old-style title cards for the time transitions. The movie is piling on so many coincidences and twists that it becomes preposterous. While the gist of the plot is routine, the specifics are somewhat unclear and contain at least one surprising twist. But there's no characterization to make any of that meaningful, the twist is just a twist for the hell of it. It doesn't help that most of the characters are hard to connect with on an emotional level and annoying more often than not. The movie doesn't provide the audience with enough opportunities to get to know them or to get inside their heads so they remain at a cold distance from the audience which makes it hard to root for any of them. The movie seems more concerned about moving the overall plot forward than in breathing much needed life into its story and character. The dialogue often sounds too on the nose and stilted while leaving very little room for interpretation. The biggest failing of this movie is Connor, which is the main character. He works as a junior staffer in the town library, does a lot of jogging around the seashore, and that's about it. The movie consists of Connor making one dumb decision after another, reeled in by seduction and risk with hopes of coming out the other end as a savior. The actor is also out of his depth here as it's not really giving us much to hang on to. The audience is supposed to identify with and empathize for Connor, but instead, we resent him for being so dense and obeying his urges instead of following his brain. The movie eventually arrives in the third act where it tries too hard to shock and surprise the audience. These surprises feel forced because without proper character building, they rise to the surface in a clunky way. Overall, this movie is not worth our time. We do not recommend this movie at all.